Hi everyone, David A. Cox here, and today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to reset your Apple ID password. But before we do that, there's something else that I wanna go over that you need to consider before proceeding. That is that in the process of doing this, any device that you own that you're signed into, whether it's an iPhone, an iPod Touch, iPad, Mac, Apple TV, whatever it is, the next time you use it, you're gonna to need to have to sign in with the new password that you're about to create. Now, that's not a big problem, provided that you have you know, all of those devices with you. But there's a situation that happens more times than you may think that a lot of people don't consider. If you have ever sold a computer that you owned to someone else and you didn't wipe out the data, that means that the next time that person who bought your computer, the next time they go to use a piece of software, it's gonna ask for your brand new Apple ID password. Just something to consider the next time you need to either buy or sell a computer. All right, folks, so the first thing you're gonna do is go on your web browser on whatever device you prefer. Personally, I prefer a computer. And go to this website, which is iforgot.apple.com, or if you prefer, there is a link in the description of the video. Put in your Apple ID email address and the little twisty code that you see next to it, and click Continue. From here, select Reset Password. Finally, on this last screen, you can see here we have an option to either have them send us an email or answer security questions. The quick thing I like to say about security questions is when you're choosing them, be very careful in which ones you choose and make sure that they are answers that you could only give one possible way. A very quick example, um, a lot of people choose the question, what was the first uh, make or model, I can't remember how they phrase it, of your first car? And the problem is that make and model are two different things. So for example, if I say VW Jetta versus Jetta, those are two different answers. So be very, very consistent when dealing with your security questions. For now, let's just go with the email option. Hit continue and you'll see pretty much right away my little fake email address has received a new email. And so from here, I'm gonna just simply click where it says reset now and choose a new password. As you can see here, we do have some requirements. It has to be eight or more characters, upper and lower case, and at least one number. And now the last step is going to be for you to sign in to each of your devices with this brand new password. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this class. If you don't mind, please hit that like button down below. And before we go, there's one last thing that I want you to consider. Now, if you are the kind of person who has trouble in general with remembering your passwords, there's a piece of software that I've been using for years. Uh, I don't have an endorsement deal or anything with them. I just love their software. Uh, it's called 1Password, and if you wanna check it out, I have a class on it coming out soon. So if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you get notifications when we do come out with new content. And um, check it out. It's a great piece of software. You need maybe a little bit of hand-holding just to get started, but once you're up and running with it, it's a great piece of software for sure. Thanks for watching, everyone. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America. Class dismissed.